In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to introduce you to the single and multi-trim options where you can spend some special time with a very important screen to trim an individual clip. Let me show you how to do that. I have a clip in uh, my display room, my media room. I'll drag it down to track one. And when I have a clip highlighted, I have above the timeline a scissors icon, which is my trim icon. I'm going to click on that. And then a window will pop up. It will give me a segment that I can edit, uh, I can look at, and it will give me actually a lot more detail than I can see in my regular window. That's the advantage of it. We have single trim and multi trim. Let me focus first of all on the single trim. You notice that the gaps here are five seconds apart. I can magnify that and now I have one second gaps. I can move the um, playhead uh, ahead by simply clicking on play here and I have that much blank space and I can also move ahead by frame here. And so it gives me kind of a close-up way to edit by second and by frame. Uh, so what I'm going to do is move to the area where it turns from black. Okay, and then I'll move ahead just frame at a time. Okay, back one, back two. Okay, this is where I want to trim it. Now we have a trim in and trim out function here. So what I'm going to do is I'll do my mark in, I'll click on this, and it will start my trim. And then I can move as far as I want to. I can use it this way to slide along. I can drag down here. I can actually also move down here and go by frame. So let's assume I want to stop it right about there. Uh, and then I will do my trim out function right here, my mark out. And so now I have an example. I can either play the original. If I click on original, uh, it will ignore the mark in and marks out and just play wherever it is. Or I can click on output down here. And when I do that, it will only play the actual trim mark in from the mark in to the mark out. So now I'll click my play. You see it jumped over to the mark in. It will move to the mark out. And, and then it stops right there. So this gives me very detailed control over my movie clip. And if I'm happy with what I've, uh, what I've created, all I do is click on OK. And now it didn't mess with the original, but it did create a trimmed copy here. Uh, you notice that the duration is uh, 10 seconds and 3 frames. And so now I have that on my timeline. So that's a single trim. And I can go ahead and play it just like I had if I edited it in my main edit screen. And there we go. That's the end. Okay, let's look at multi-trim now. I'm going to take the same raw clip and I will click on the scissors icon again and this time I'm going to use my multi trim option. Now what multi trim allows me to do it allows me to have more than one cut so I can splice this into as many fragments as I want so I'm going to move over here uh, kind of to the beginning again like I did before and move frame by frame until I Get to the first frame I see with a, uh, okay, there we go, one, two, one more. Nice that you can go frame by frame. And I'll do my mark in on that one. And then, then let's, just, uh, let's just move the playhead uh, just a very little bit and I'll do a mark out. Okay, so I now have my segment number one over here on the right. Then I'm going to move forward in my clip. Uh, we're just about shaking hands here and I will do another mark in and we'll play it. 
Okay, and now I will do a, at this point, I will do a mark out. And then we'll move it down a, a little bit ways where he's got the water bottle in his hand. I'll do another mark in. Move it forward. Again, I could play it. I could uh, listen to the audio. And stop it there and say, oh, maybe I want it back just a few frames. I can do that. And then I can do another mark out. And I can move it over here, do another mark in. Another one that's a mark out. And so now I have four segments I've created out of my original clip. And uh, I can click on the original or I click on output. Watch what happens when I click on output and hit play. Um, first one, second one, third one, and that's the last one. So it allows you to see what they would be like. If I like them, I click OK, and it takes all four clips that I've just made and puts them adjacent to each other in the um, in my uh, finished product. So in track number one, I now have these four clips from my multi-trim function. It's a really nice way to get down into the details, to see what you're doing, to fine tune and tweak how you edit and slice your digital movie in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.